it's Adriana, and this is my review of the Bling Ring. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I hated a movie so much and watched a movie and sat there thinking, what is this movie? What am I watching? Why am I watching this? There are better things I can do with my time. And that's how I felt about The Bling Ring, which was on my most anticipated of the year list. So it's not like I went in not expecting to like it or... I, I mean, I had... At first, my expectations were a bit high, but because it was getting mixed reviews, my expectations lowered. I thought people just weren't getting it or, you know, Sofia Coppola... I like her, but she doesn't always connect with everybody. But I see why now. This movie is not doing well. And, uh, okay, so first of all, Sofia Coppola, she's a great director. I really love Lost in Translation. I actually really love Somewhere. Um, I like The Virgin Suicides, and I haven't seen Marie Antoinette. But her movies are slow, in general. Her movies are, they take a lot of patience. Um, they're hard to get through a lot of the time, but usually the end result is something really good, something meaningful and kind of profound, and I feel like she takes on really interesting issues, which I feel like she was trying to do with the bling ring. I mean, I understand where she was coming from in wanting to make a movie about this, but the film itself gives no depth, no message, there's barely a tone to it, there's barely a perspective to it, and literally, it's just these kids, these stupid, spoiled, ugh, awful people. I actually hated everybody in this movie. There was not one likable character in this whole movie. I kept waiting for, like, a redeemable factor. I'm like, oh, maybe the ending will be really good, or maybe, like, something will happen that will make me appreciate it. But nothing, even the ending was just like, ugh, infuriating. Like, this movie is infuriating. Uh, so yeah, these rich, spoiled, stupid kids rob celebrities, and it's based on a true story, and ugh, like, I kind of understand what she would want to do with it, but because it lacks so much in, in message and tone and everything, it just... The story did not need to be told. Like, okay, some stupid rich kids robbed a bunch of houses and whatever, but it's not a story worth watching unless you're gonna add something to it. And there's nothing, I found there to be nothing added to it. Another thing in the movie, if you watch it, even the people in the theater, like I heard people talking. I don't know if in real life this is what happened, but no one's houses are locked. No one locks their house. Celebrities, you don't lock the door to your home when you leave for weeks on end or people don't lock their cars. Like, these kids literally walk into people's houses, not break in, they walk right in. I just found that to be so unrealistic. I don't know if that's, like, a true aspect of anything that happened in the actual case, but, like, oh, how can you believe that? Like, oh my god, just crazy. The performances in this movie... It's all unknown actors for the most part, except for Emma Watson, who isn't even the leading role in this movie. There isn't really a leading role. I'd say the leading character is uh, the character of Mark, who is played by uh, Israel Broussard. And then the main girl is played by Katie Chang. These are two actresses, or two actors, sorry, I've never heard of before. So yeah, it's mostly like these unknown actors. The performances are all like, whatever, they're they do what they need to do. No one, like, stands out, and the characters aren't developed enough for anyone to stand out. Literally, it's just, like, these really shallow characters. There's barely any dialogue. Like, I feel like she was trying to take a really objective viewpoint of this situation and just kind of, like, this is what happened, this is how it happened, but didn't add anything to it at all. So as an audience, it makes you really hard to connect or to sympathize or... It just makes you just hate everyone and everything and <laughs> just think it was awful and a waste of time and uh, like a story that, yeah, didn't need to be told. This film has a lot of similarities to Spring Breakers, which is another film that came out this year. 
just in the fact that it's about a group of teenagers who, you know, commit crimes like robberies and who party and who do drugs and and all of that kind of stuff and who are basically like longing for a lifestyle that they don't actually have. But I'm I'm a fan of Spring Breakers. I love Spring Breakers. My review of Spring Breakers, I think I didn't express as much how much I loved it as I actually did. I feel like I kind of understated it a bit, but I've actually seen the film a second time in theaters and I do actually really, really love it. Um, so to say that this movie is so much worse it doesn't mean much because I love Spring Breakers, but Spring Breakers took that theme and it had such a style and such a tone and like an atmosphere and it took you on this ride and even though the characters in that film were also pretty shallow it was more in a satirical way and there was you know an element of comedy to it there was an ele like a really deep dark element to it where this film it just feels so empty like I got nothing from it I just hated myself watching it I'm like ugh, like no one there's no redeeming factor at all in this movie, I felt. Sofia Coppola, like, I, I respect you as a director, and this is kind of like, I get it. She likes to analyze the celebrity kind of thing. A lot of her films have to do with that. Lost in Translations about uh, an actor trying to make a connection, and and so is Somewhere. And uh, the, her other two films, I guess, not as much, but... The Bling Ring, again, it's about this obsession with celebrity culture and, and wanting to live like a celebrity and, and wanting to attain this sort of lifestyle and whatever, but I get what she's trying to do, but at the same time, this film is just awful, and there's no characters, really. There's really no characters, and, and the plot is just awful. Like, literally, it's them robbing houses and that's what the movie is just watching them walk into houses and robbing for like the most part of the movie so like you get the point like you get it they're robbing celebrities you don't need to see it time after time after time after time to understand that that's what's happening in this movie so that's basically what the whole movie is i don't know i uh please if you like it i want to know why you like it because i rarely felt this strongly about not liking a film it has a good soundtrack. That's one thing I will give it. I thought it had a good soundtrack. I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. It's probably the lowest I've ever rated a film. Just because usually there's something about it that makes me want to give it something more. I mean, I'll give it- I'm giving it a 3, not like a 0, because I still appreciate like, you know, the craft of it. Yeah, this movie is just not much to work with. Anyhow, that's my review of The Bling Ring. Uh, Please comment below if you agree or disagree. Uh, I'll totally take the hate from any Sofia Coppola fan, boys, fan, girls, whatever. Yeah, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks so much.